So in this video, I'm gonna talk about whether you can visit people in their dreams and how you might be able to do that. So first, I'm gonna talk about a study that actually talked about how to communicate with people in their dreams and the effect of that. There is research and studies behind this. Then I'm gonna talk about telepathy and actually planting messages in someone's, somebody's dreams in mind. Then I'm gonna talk about how various techniques that you can use to make somebody dream about you and how you can you know, get that happening. And then finally, I'm gonna talk about what you're probably here for, which is dream sharing or dream walking. Dream walking is where you are able to enter somebody's dream and actually interact with them in the dream space, in a lucid dream or in, on the astral realm. Okay, so firstly, there is actually a study talking about communication between you know somebody who is awake and somebody who is dreaming. They did manage to prove this. However, this study only talks about influencing somebody who's dreaming while you're actually in the room with them. So take from this what you will. There is interesting anecdotal evidence, which I'll get onto later on, but for now, the only study that I can find is actually talk from somebody who's awake, trying to get a message through to somebody who's dreaming who is in the same room as them. So I'm gonna read just a quick quote from the study. We found that individuals in REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep, can interact with an experimenter and engage in real time communication. This is when they're lucid, of course. However, out of 158 questions, the dreamers responded correctly to only 18.6% of them. So they actually managed to get communication happening between somebody who was awake in a room watching this person dream, not in a creepy way, and the person who was actually dreaming, who was lucid dreaming. This is quite a little bit different to the study that was first done on lucid dreaming, where people tracked their eye movement and they were told to move their eyes in different ways in REM sleep. Because that was, in that study, and you know, the first one that proves lucid dreaming, they agreed on something that they would do beforehand. So they decided before they actually had the dream what they were gonna do. This study is a bit different because they actually waited until they were dreaming and then once the person was asleep, then they started the communication and then they started to interact and essentially, yeah, have this real-time interaction and communication. I'll put a link in the description to the study. I think you'll find it interesting. However, now we're gonna talk about telepathy. I have spoken in other videos, of course, about the idea of holographic reality and the idea that in holographic reality theory, there is what's known as non-locality, where particles can interact and interfere with each other regardless of distance. This is proved again by quantum entanglement and quantum mechanics. But really the idea is quite old, and the ancient civilizations of the world, they knew this anyway. Uh, and it's only now really that modern science is kind of corroborating the ideas that we knew thousands of years ago. And that is that particles at the quantum level are not separate. Everything is connected. Everything is interfering and interrelating with each other all the time. So telepathy is a field of study which I find fascinating. The idea that you can implant and not just implant ideas, but you can have communication with people regardless of how far away you are is something that there is a lot of subjective evidence for. By subjective, what I mean is there's no lab study as such that's proved this, as far as I know. If there is, please leave them in the description, in the um, comment section. But really, there is just this overwhelming mass of subjective evidence that people, you know, do this. People experience this. Now, in order to enter somebody's dream or give them a message during their dream, there's a few things I've picked up from the research I've done, and that is that you need to have a really relaxed mind. You can't be stressed. You can't be thinking about the result too much. And you can't be, you know, desperate for the result to happen. You have to be kind of relaxed. You have, you set your intention, much like with the law of attraction or trying to manifest something, okay? You set your intention and then you just let the intention go. You let the universe take care of it. And that's how you really use telepathy to enter somebody's dream and give them a message. I will, if there's enough demand, I will make another video about this on my channel. So leave a comment if you do want to see that. And now we're going to talk about some more kind of experimental ways that you can get somebody to dream about you. This is not a way of getting somebody to have a shared dream with you, known as dream walking. We'll get onto dream walking later. This is specifically how to get some other person to dream about you. Okay, so the first step is you wanna try and give them or let them see a picture of you. If you give them a picture of you, especially if you send them a picture of you on the phone or maybe you, know, you tag them in a picture of you on Instagram or something, or if they have a physical picture of you, they're much more likely to dream about you because they'll be able to see that whenever they want. And especially if they see it you know, in the evening before they go to bed, they're much more likely to dream about you. Number two, and hopefully you can find a way to do this where it feels natural and comfortable. You wanna try and call them in the evening. Try and literally give them a phone call roughly between 6 and 12 p.m. or sometime before they're going to go to sleep. If you do this, it's very likely they'll dream about you because we dream often about the things that have just happened. 
things that are fresh in the front of our mind. And then on that same kind of logic, to make somebody more likely to dream about you, you should say things that are unusual, catchy, memorable, and also do things that are memorable. Be somebody who is not forgettable. You wanna have your interactions with this person be so interesting and unique that they find themselves thinking about you often. They think about you in the evening, and especially just before they go to bed. You also want to try and give this person a compliment. When you give somebody a compliment, you really stand out in their mind and they remember you more easily than they would remember somebody who didn't give them a compliment. So try and find something nice to say or something interesting or unique that you don't think they hear very often. Okay, so that's how you can get somebody at a basic level to be more likely to dream about you. But here's what I find really interesting. How can you actually use dream walking techniques to enter somebody's dream? How can you actually interact and have a shared or mutual dreaming experience? And I've done a little bit of research into this and found some things that might help. Firstly, dream walking is quite difficult compared to just typical lucid dreaming. So if you can't get lucid reliably, you're going to find this a, you know, a struggle. So I would recommend that you go through the lucid breakthrough program or just watch some of my other videos on my channel where I talk about how to lucid dream or the fastest way of lucid dreaming. And you definitely want to be writing your dreams down, doing your reality checks every day and meditating. Okay, so step one of what I will call the dream walking technique or just using dream walking to enter somebody's dream and interact with them. You want to think intently about this person throughout the day. It's really important that you focus on the emotional connection you have and not specifics or on paper sort of things. You want to focus on how they make you feel, what your last interaction was like, and the emotional reason why you want to connect with them in your dreams. What do you actually want to do or talk to them with or experience with them when you actually have a shared dreaming experience with this person? Number two, once you've got that emotional picture of this person in your head and you're constantly thinking about them, you wanna state your intention or your purpose really clearly. And this is something you can do alone. You can write this down, you can write it on your phone, or just really think about it on your own when you're spending time alone during the day. Think about what do I want to do, and then set the intention, say, I will have a shared dream with this person. I will enter and interact with somebody in my next dream, and I will become lucid tonight to actually allow this to happen. And again, if you are not able to lucid dream, if you find it hard to lucid dream, you should really learn how to do that first because otherwise, how are you gonna become lucid and actually do this? You need to be having lucid dreams regularly, ideally writing them down every day, meditating, doing reality checks. Otherwise, you're gonna find this difficult. Step number three, during your daily meditation, which you should again be meditating between one and two times a day, ideally first thing in the morning and last thing at night. When you're doing your meditation, try and think intensely about this person's face and how they make you feel and what your last interaction with them was like. Then what you want to do is as you drift off to sleep, and hopefully you're sleeping well and you are practicing good sleep hygiene, you have good sleep habits, and you're able to fall asleep quickly. Okay, so when you're doing this, make sure that you think as you're drifting off to sleep, you think about this person, you, th you focus on their face, their conversation, the last conversation you had with them, what, how they made you feel, and what you're gonna do when you enter the dream. Hold on to that feeling of them as you fall asleep, and it will really help, this is step five, to practice lucid dreaming and being able to control your dreams is such an important skill that will help you do so many other things. Things like this, for example, dream walking or sharing dreams. You can only really do this if you're able to lucid dream regularly. Now, I wanna give you some warnings about dream walking because you, know, you can't just walk into this literally and expect everything to be fine. You need to be aware of these things. Number one, have a good or strong intention. Don't try and do this if you're trying to influence them in a negative way or manipulate them or really do anything that's kind of unethical or un immoral. You don't want to do things that is going to come back to you in a negative way. So be careful of your intention. The next one is to watch your focus and your mindset. When you're drifting off to sleep, it's very easy to lose focus and to be thinking about something else. Meditation helps with this, but you need to keep your focus strong. Your mindset is important as well, because if you don't have a positive mindset, you won't be able to do this and you'll be constantly distracted. And number three, you don't want to be too invasive. Okay, so you want to get a sense of, does this person actually like me in even just a small way? You know, does this would this person be completely okay with me entering their dream or would they actually say, no way, you know, I don't want anything to do with you? If, you? if they don't want anything to do with you, then please don't try and invade their dream because it's obviously not a very nice thing to do. It's quite invasive, it's quite aggressive and they won't like it. If you do want to read the study about the communication with somebody in a dream, the link is in the description. I would highly recommend my Lucid Breakthrough program because that will get you to Lucid Dream as fast as possible. And it will also share some bonus tips and methods and all kinds of techniques and tricks you can use. That link is in the description. 
and I'll see you next time.